We're in the Drift Creek Wilderness. We're heading down, down, down into the creek. It's only about three miles in. Pretty steep climb though. It'll be beautiful. These bands about. It always pays to check out the area when you arrive. Don't assume the first campsite you come to is the best one because this is definitely better than the one that we were starting to unpack in. Uh, mm -hmm. The creek is right back there. Jason's got his shirt off. It's just way better over here than anywhere else. Well, the mm -hmm. dog just pooped right in the middle of the site, so... There's dog poop here, but <laughs> we can Surf clean that up. <laughs> and this is much more uh, conducive to hammocking. I'm going to be right over here. Look at this. I'm going to... I'm going to be right there, and then I'm going to be right there, and it's going to be glorious. I'm going to sleep really well. I'm going to go across from him. I'm going from here over to here. <laughs> and so That's not going to work. That might not really... It's, uh, we might not be able to do that. Forest CrossFit? This is Forest CrossFit. All right, here we go. Oh! Yeah. That's... A So one cool thing about this wilderness area is there used to be a, a farmstead or homestead here and you can still see the, um, the pasture that they had. I don't think there's any, um, I don't think there's any remnants of the buildings or anything but uh, I had read in a random comment uh, on a thread that, that they were actually um, old like classic like Model T cars in here somewhere. I don't know if that's true or not. We might go look around for them um, tomorrow or something. But I went and hiked a little bit through that uh, through that pasture area and I I used to know what stinging nettles looked like and I think I forgot because I walked right through a bunch of them and, uh, and uh, now I'm letting the cool water soothe my stings. They're not really that bad but they're sort of annoying. And uh, isn't that beautiful? You like that big uh, highlight there? You can't really tell what's there, can you? There might be a bear in there and you wouldn't know. Jason. Oh, you named them already. <laughs> there they are. Okay. Coming in. Oh, coming in. Hey. Oh. Woo. Woo. They're writhing around. They're in a desperate sword fight. They're, uh, they're compatriots now. <laughs> Look at them. They're instantly brothers. Oh, they're consoling each other now. Oh, my goodness. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> He's a mad guy. <laughs> it's like it's like scooping crawdads with a shovel. <laughs> Crawling snail things. Oh yeah, those are fun. Then uh, see the crawdads feed on them, then we feed on the crawdads. Who knows what'll eat us? A bear? Probably a bear. Probably. Or Sasquatch. If we're lucky. If we're lucky, I would. Man, I'd be honored to be eaten by a bear. Or Sasquatch. Or Sasquatch. But I feel like Sasquatch would be more of a jerk about it than the bear would. Yeah, have you seen him in those commercials? He'd rub it in. Yeah. I caught you. Ha ha. I hope you like boiling water. Ha ha ha. I hope so. You got six on there. Oh yeah. Oh man, the glory. Just wait, you guys. You'll be, be soon. All right, here we go. 
Surf and turf. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, man. That's exactly right. Oh, man. You can pay 50 bucks for this meal. That's beautiful. I got it for five. Yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. Finally. Right there. Finally. <laughs> man, we were worried about you guys. Well, Josiah was at REI at like 4.30. What? <laughs> Hello. Hey. hey. We got hungry, we ate all the steak. I'm sorry. How's it going? Good, how are you? Great. You see, man, okay. hey. Are we there? It's, so go to the left, yeah. First one of the trip? Yeah. Our first keeper. We're eating this one. That's nice. I got a six inch one about like that. Really? Nice. nice. We're eating there. Mm. Here's a wonderful old nursery log here, growing right along here. You see all these, all these trees growing up out of it. There, here. here. Typical of old growth and rainforest. Here's where that log at one point split off right here and all these trees fell over with it but they survived and they kept on growing upwards. Pretty cool. Oh, I see. Want a fish? No, I'm okay. Thank you though. Breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Are you still are you still caught? Well, it was a heroic effort, even though you didn't save the lure. Oh, I've got it. <laughs> you got it? I reached out. A branch is too strong up there. I yeah. reached out. Find me in the oh, oh. Aaron, you just got to jump oh. for it. Look at that one Mike caught. Hey Mike, show Paul your fish. Mikey. Mikey, let me see your fish. Ooh, that's nice. Oh man. So two's the limit, huh? Two a day? Two a day. But if you eat it, you can go back and get more. Yeah. Four in daily possessions. <laughs> because <laughs> that's nice. Oh. How does that make you feel, Mike? A what? A poof. A, a what? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just did that. I recommend that direction. Did you? Mm-hmm. There's Tyler by that big tree. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. It's like three on me. It took like four of me to get around this. Maybe we can find four more of you to measure it accurately. But you're going at a diagonal, that's not going to be correct. You're right. You need to get higher. But you should keep trying because it looks pretty funny. Videotaping. <laughs> so we're going up the uh, which which trail is this now? Horse Creek Trail. Horse Creek. I believe that. So this is the other side of the creek. We're going back to the other trailhead. We don't know if we're going to make it that far. We're going to hike until we're bored, or until we find a nice view. We don't know how far Paul's calves can make it. Oh, these calves can make it all the way. Mm. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> <Oop. laughs> Falling down. <laughs> uh, these are what I call the uh the uh Ooh, you got some fungus on there. White white fungus. Um commonly found on fallen trees or uh underwater. But <laughs> 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 hmm. And maybe you shouldn't do that. <laughs> Look at those shrubs growing on top of that dead tree. I'm thinking around this uh, hill, as we wrap around to the uh, right here, we'll have a view of the ocean. I can see blue. That's me. Not that way. <laughs> There's a little patch of blue sky right there. See that? Huh, it's weird. Never seen it dance around like that. Those are waves. <laughs> it's so we just uh, hiked to the end of Horse Creek here. Don't. And uh, I think we're going to be done because this is the trailhead is further down and it's not worth going to. Or sometimes I don't know why I have the friends that I have. Sometimes I think that I've made good choices with my friends, and other times I think maybe maybe I need to keep shopping. Did you guys see somebody throwing pine cones around here? I want to touch it. I have to touch it. Do it. Josiah has to touch it. I have to touch it. Push! Ow! Wow. my ankle. Okay, my turn. Come on, you can do better than that. Nice. Twice. Don't fall down. Here we go. <laughs> Well, all right. We just conquered Drift Creek Wilderness. Hey, look, it's the ocean. Oh, yeah, it's right. I can see it. It's right. it's, I see it. <laughs> yeah. So Jason decided to walk all the way to the trailhead. Jason, cut! Which is another three quarters of a mile or so. Hey, look at the ocean. We quit because it's the trail. Because <laughs> that's what we came for. Wilderness boundary. So we're sitting here at the boundary. You can see the ocean from here. What are you going to eat when you get back to camp? Oh, the biggest mountain house I've ever had. Hmm. It'll be the first mountain house I've ever had. Oh. Mm. Maybe they're gonna have macaroni and cheese or a hamburger helper. Hmm. I think with potato. I haven't decided between chicken and potatoes or chicken and rice. Chicken and rice. I haven't decided.
That dug fur? Yeah. Or is it a hemlock? Dug fur. Okay. But the, you can see the tones right here, too. Like the elephant heads. Okay. That and then these these those ones, are, those these are, are western hemlock? hemlock? Western hemlock, yeah. So there's so western trees right over here and hemlock. Western hemlock cones. Dug fur, because you, they've got the little elephant thing, right? The little yeah, elephant head. Elephant head. Two ears, if you will, and a snout. Huh. So this, that's a dug fur? Yes, sir. And these ones are hemlock? Yes, sir. These are, again? I believe it is sandy flower. This one? Yeah. This was uh, that, no those bell or uh, those are bells, um, Barry Bell or something. Yeah, like Mary Bell or Mary Bell. And then these. Let me look up one more. That's see. that's a candy flower. Oh, there's a white here. Already. And then this is oxalis. It's got a nice little zest to it. Sort of citrusy. Fairy bells. Fairy bells. Fairy bells. Those are fairy bells. So now it's almost all downhill from here. The other guys ran up ahead. They're probably jogging the trail because they're young and spry. But uh, not as wise as Jason and I. We're conserving our energy. We're eating oxalis and noting the wildflowers and remembering their names and then forgetting their names and having to look them up again later. Yeah, crossing the river, Jason casually throws his line in and pulls out a fish. That's the kind of man he is. I mean, that's the that's the kind of skilled outdoorsman he is. With his left hand, no less. Are you sure that wasn't Aaron? Environmentally friendly. Yeah. But the Alpine air. Mesquite barbecue seasoned chicken with beans and rice. Did we ever make You're a, gonna like that. Have you had it? You're gonna be really happy with that. Have you had it before or are you no. just being optimistic? Being optimistic. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> what is it? Chimichanga and rice? Mesquite barbecue seasoned chicken. Oh, I love chimichangas. Oh, with <laughs> beans and rice. With beans and rice. It's gonna be good. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Like You're almost that. there, baby. It ain't no Zataran. I like, like to take, personally, I like to take the uh, do not eat packet out of the food, unlike some people. Are you leave it in there? Relaxing. You ready? Yep. Yeah, we don't have like a candle or anything for Mike's birthday. How old are you, Mike? Yes, yeah, pull up a stick. <laughs> we do have a campfire. I was born in 1964. 1964. So you're like 70. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Who's going to start it? Aaron, Aaron, you need to start it. Uh, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mike. Good job, Mike. You did it. Do you feel good now? <laughs> Many more. You made it. Yeah. You made it. You did it, buddy. Birthday hike. Sleepy Mike. He's 53. Sleepy Mike. Out here on grinding top. with the young bucks. None of us got you anything. <laughs> Hot on fire. Oh. Uh, Nettles. Huh. But there's a beaver game up there? Mm -hmm. That'd be worth checking out. Yeah, I want to see it tomorrow. Big one. So. This isn't super yeah, awesome, like the mesquite barbecue se ch seasoned chicken. I'm not super happy with it. No. 
I'm not gonna get it. He's trying the uh, Alpine right? mesquite chicken. That's a weird. Now. That's a weird. It's not my favorite. <laughs> Everyone try it. Nobody's really liking good. it. What'd you say? Larry? You like it? It's not my no. <laughs> Everyone's gonna try it. <laughs> Sorry guys. Sorry Alpine. What is it? Air. Alpine Air. Second. Oh. Just like Water like sterilizer. You're going for two? I think if you add Tabasco, it'd be pretty good. <laughs> well, if you add Tabasco to anything, it's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> the star finds a way. Oh. Are you going to eat it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, I probably ate half of it. All of these sissies uh, felt a few little drops of rain, and now they're deploying. They're, they're rain flies. I think it's pathetic make, myself. Make sure you show them your rain fly up too. This one, oh, I just wanted some extra shade over mine. Okay. Is that yours? Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is Hammock Town. I didn't get it in the daylight. Maybe I should shoot this tomorrow. I got a 360. Look at that. Oh, do you? Yeah. Sweet. There's the Hennessy. That's me. Half. With the range fly half deployed. Here's the, what is this? This is the outer EQ with the Eno fly. Outer EQ with the Eno fly. It's under there somewhere. This is the Eno with the Eno fly. With this, Rick. No, this is the, I bought stuff off of Amazon. Oh. I have no idea what brand it is. This is the Amazon special. Yeah. <laughs> that's the Eno and that's the Eno. Oh yeah, it'd be loud. What happens here is all these little roots over time are uh, basically be, um, bitten off by little mice that, that burrow under the, under the surface of the earth. Really? And eventually, when enough mice um, reproduce in that area, enough branches, I mean roots I should say, are gnawed. See here, you can tell the little teeth marks all along these roots here, it's evidence of it. Native tree mice. mice. Native, native mice. tree mice. Mm -hmm. huh. Native tree mice. Native tree mice. Thank you, Josiah. I mm -hmm. forgot their Latin name, but <laughs> something uh, like Maticamus latricamus. Ooh. Uh, yeah, uh huh. That was good pronunciation. There's your college education right there. Maticamus Anyway, at this point. I think that's actually a spell from Harry Potter. Nope. Uh -uh. Uh, this tree will soon be covered. Lots of other little trees growing upwards <laughs> as uh, this tree deteriorates, rots away. What's that called? That's called a nursery tree. Thanks for asking. And uh, you should ask Paul about those. He likes them a lot. That's true. That is bear scat for sure. We are in bear country. The cougar poo. It's pretty fresh. I think the consensus is this is bear. Cougar. <laughs> bear, very fresh bear. Josiah says cougar. Cougars. Is it warm? I don't always, kind of feel if it's warm. It's always cougar poo. Just put your hand Josiah, over it. Josiah, taste it. Just you can tell by the tang. No, I can just tell by looking at it. It's hover your poo. hand over it to see if it's warm. Hover your face. That's your huge face has though. Receptors for I can smell from here. That's mm -hmm. huge. Yeah. Cougars have big poo. You know? That's not cougar poo. Well, it, it was here yesterday. It's not going to be see the poo. If you see the poo, it's cougar poo. It's cold. Rick says bear. He's a hunter. It's actually a... This is a... Um, innate uh, trait that bears do they poop and then they lure people in to so look at it and then they attack you we're about to be attacked is what you're saying they right usually pounce from ab ab above don't they oh my word yeah. it's called maybe we should go back to bears. camp I say we press it that is that is you massive walk along the creek down there Mike Sitka spruce and the Sitka and Roberts size man. Size and they're normal sized man. <laughs> this is our honeymoon photo. It's the <laughs> uh, isn't it romantic, Mike? <laughs> wow, it's like yeah. uh, if we can get some. <laughs> is it worth getting down there, Mike? I don't know if we'll be able to move along it. Ooh, look at that side over there under that tree. That's the spot. You can swim, can't you? Look at that. I, there's fish under that tree over there on the other oh, side. Yeah. That's a fishing hole. That's it. Hey, don't. Hey, Aaron. Standard, we measure against all trees. 
Whew. I'll say that's about 3,000 Tylers. 3,000 Tylers at least. Yeah. Look at the... Oh, yeah, look at the branch bone making. Yeah, look at that. That is so awesome. I found his climbing spot. Why yeah. did I not bring my phone to take... Or my GoPro? Oh, yeah. That's massive Doug fur in a little bitty Tyler. I mean, he's normal size compared to other Tylers. Yeah. Compared to this tree, he's pretty small. Freshwater clams in this creek. I wouldn't have expected that. Yeah, I positively identified the stinging nettle. My arm is hurting quite a bit right now. That is it right there. See the difference in that the leaves don't cluster? Yeah. My arm's getting kind of red right there already. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, there's more here. That must be it there too. Now I'm breaking out in little hives. There's a uh, treatment that people keep suggesting to me that uh, is common to stings, jellyfish and uh, and stinging nettle alike. I'm hesitant to try the solution, but uh, really the, only the, the encouragement of my friends cure. is compelling me it's to at least give it a try. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. So this is definitely worth the trip. Um, it's not a real challenging hike. It's pretty. It's pretty simple. Um, you're gonna go, you know, gain and lose about 1,500 feet. It's only about three miles, no matter which trail you come on. Um, I think this, the the Harris Ranch Trail, seems to be the easiest, most popular trail. But the trail on that side of the creek, on the Horse Creek Trail, on that side of Drift Creek, is nicer, wider. The trees up there, it's a kind of a different kind of forest as you, when you get up there, it's more open. And this is sort of the, the riot of vegetation over here in a lot of places. But it's still beautiful. These giant spruces and the firs and the, the red, red uh, western red cedar, the western hemlock. No rain again. This is the, maybe the third Memorial Day trip in a row where we haven't really been rained on. Last night we had a little bit of mist come in and we so we put our rain flies up on and Jason who's who's just going without a tent or anything because he's more of a man than any of us just threw a tarp over the top of him and we maybe got a tiny bit damp but not not wet at all so i just found one of those cars somebody had written on a forum that there were some old cars back in here and i just stumbled onto one well, maybe somebody out there who knows more about cars than I do could identify this. I really know nothing at all. So if you know what this is, if you know what this is, go ahead and comment about it. And that would be awesome. Is this the last fish? The olive oil. The last cooked fish of the trip? Yeah. I could have stood a little bit. Okay, my potato's that one, Tyler. Whose is it? Is that Jason? The big boy? That's mine, yeah, the big ones. The three bait three day potatoes are finally ready. It's yep. spice bait. 
Thrice baked. That's thrice, good. thrice baked. There you go, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Cooked in olive oil. oil. In the EVOO. EVOO only. Yeah. No, so the the I'm verdict on the Alpine Air pepper beef with rice is it is good, heck of a lot better than the mesquite chicken. And this is a blackened potato. <laughs> it's so ready to eat. A three day potato, and on the the third day it's blackened in the I fire. I purposely dropped it in the fire without an aluminum foil, just to get it to the right temperature hmm. and crispness. It looks delicious. Yeah. And then Jason. Is working on the honey butter that Ann made for us. Delicious, thank you, Ann. My wife made us steakhouse size. rolls, and they were amazing. And this is the the rest of the uh, the honey butter. Yeah, I think straight butter. That, that oil was, was, was bad. Good. <laughs> I burned off all that fat. No, I have some more. I did add a little bit of Tabasco to the pepper beef. No, this is perfect. It's nice rice. and uh, soft. Actually, and that made it a lot better. You guys are all wrong. You're welcome. You but Tabasco move? makes everything better, so okay. nothing against Alpine Air there. Aaron, you guys see it's perfect. I'll probably get this is one it? again. Yeah, dude. Oh my. <laughs> Aaron's working on his walking stick. Pretty dumb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, At I'm least coming. right now we have a filter. <laughs> Is that the prettiest walking stick you've ever made, you think? Yeah, it's the prettiest. How many walking sticks have you made, Aaron? Two. Two? Yeah. What happened to the first one? This is the first one, that's the second one right there. Looks like Tyler's making that one. <laughs> I did most of the work. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> His looks better than yours. I did all of that. Me. This has a lot more color there. Yeah. It's better. Tyler's might be genuine cedar. Be genuine. This is custom. Yours is the false See cedar. This? And I got uh, Jason to give me a nice clean cut. That was a good hike. Oh yeah. Man and machine. Thanks for a great trip, everybody. Good trip. I'm gonna get my